Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplying, dividing, positive rational numbers. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a chemistry teacher, 18 boxes, and students can use it for experiment. If each student needs two thirds of a box, how many students can perform? All right, so we could use this as basic operation, but you know what, I wanna draw a picture here. And I'm gonna actually keep the grid on, that's gonna be helpful, because it's kind of easy to see this if we draw a picture. So 18 boxes, watch what I'm gonna do. So I am just going to draw 18 boxes like this and I'm specifically drawing them so that they're gonna be three units long, right? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to capture these three squares, right? And each time you draw, if you wanna use this tool, you have to make sure you lift up your pen, right? Or your mouse, if you're using a mouse, because if not, it'll just end up just dragging all over the place. So I'm just gonna make an array, right? Three rows, six columns, but once I do this, it's going to be fairly easy to visualize how many students can do this experiment if they each need two-thirds of a box. If they each needed one box, that'd be simple, right? 18 students, 18 boxes. But they don't need a full box. They need less than a full box. So if I multiply, right, or I divide, right, is that going to give me a larger number or a smaller number? Well, kind of depends. So... Now that I've done that, I've got my 18 right there. This is what I want to do. I want to I want to alternate just so we can kind of see, right? So I need two thirds of a box, right? So my first kid, let's see, let's get it on draw instead of connect line. Okay, so my first kid is going to use that right there, and then my next kid can use the the other third that's sitting right there and can use the first third of that second box, right? So I don't need a full box for a kid. So I could do that right there. Okay, so now look at what I've got. I've got two boxes, right? How many kids can I get out of those two boxes, right? Well, as you can see here, I've got this is student one right here. These two right there are student two, and that right there is student three. Now, I could, if I want to, you know, kind of keep going on this, but hopefully you've noticed a pattern, right? Because once you notice the pattern, that's a beautiful thing about math. You don't really need to keep going. You could just kind of extend that pattern. Take a look at what I've got. I've got another two boxes, right? So this is this blue is kid four, that right there, the, the green is kid five, that blue is kid six. Okay, so I don't need to continue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original one right here. I'm going to say, look, I've got two boxes, that's three kids. So for every two boxes, I'm going to do three kids. For every two boxes, I'm going to do three kids. I just made a row. My row equals nine. Well, I've got another row, that's going to equal 9. I've got another row, that's going to equal 9. If you don't believe me, you know, obviously you can just fill this out on your own, but we don't need to fill out all of it once we see the pattern. So 999, that makes 27. Okay, so I mean, my answer is right there. How do we do this without? Well, what did we do? We took our 18 and we divided it into two thirds. Okay, and we ended up with this 27. So here's the nice thing about when you multiply and divide. Dividing by two-thirds is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, right? When you divide by a half, that's the same thing as, you know, multiplying by two, right? It's the same thing. So you can multiply this, so that's going to end up being a straight multiplication problem, right? So that's going to be 54 divided by 2, there's your 27, all right? So our answer here is going to be A.